No guy wants to be with a woman who can't control her emotions and her anger. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Lakeisha, and if you're not new, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be getting into a healthy discussion about building your self-confidence and how to raise your self-esteem. But without further ado, let's just get into the video. I don't know what it is about being a woman, but getting your eyelashes, getting your hair done, getting your makeup done, getting your nails done, it makes you feel so good. Like, it makes you want to take amazing pictures. It makes you want to go outside and be seen. It makes you want to be on Instagram. It makes you want to do all of your snaps. It makes you want to do all of your content. It just makes you feel good about yourself because you feel like, okay, I look like the best version of myself. But then when all of that comes off and we just are left with our bare self, that's the real us, you know? In this generation, not a lot of women are truly confident and not a lot of women truly accept themselves as they are. And I know it's so difficult to do it in this society, especially when you're faced with so much comparison on like Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. But I just want to tell you that it's all good to um, pamper your external self and doll yourself up and put on the eyelashes and stuff. But if you haven't pampered your soul, taken care of your soul, it's all for nothing because the one thing you need is soul therapy. You need to work on your soul. You need to work on loving yourself from the inside out. You need to work on actually accepting yourself as a person, as a individual, even though you make mistakes, even though you have a lot of awkward moments. You need to work on accepting yourself. You need to work on building your own self-confidence separately from your external you need to work on actually liking things about yourself because there's a lot of girls that ain't got personality there's a lot of girls that all they bring to the table is a big ass and a pretty face but that's not gonna be us we bring ourselves to the table not the way we look not the way we appear to others but our character and it's so important to perfect your character it's important to actually become someone you genuinely like like if you was to meet yourself as another person would you like yourself and what are the things you don't like about yourself those are the things you need to work on in order to really accept yourself because i know how difficult it is to accept yourself when you're looking at sally and sally is everything you want to be and the only way to combat that is to begin to work on your internal if you know that you you lack a lot of confidence then you need to work on building your self-confidence and the way you do that is to work on what makes you lack confidence for me i lack confidence because i felt really insecure about say for example my body i didn't like my body so i used to feel really insecure about people looking at my body or i don't know i just didn't really feel like guys really liked me because i felt as though mm, you like girls with a big bum and i got a pancake so i don't really think you like me or you're probably judging me and that's because i judged myself and it's so um, common for us to project how we feel about ourselves onto other people when we meet people we think that they're recognizing what we don't like about ourselves like I used to be really um, self-conscious about the way I spoke I used to feel I used to stutter a lot I used to mess up my words I didn't want to sound a certain type of way and the way I combated that was to actually work on my speech and take myself through speech therapy and to really develop a style of myself that I like because at the end of the day, we're stuck with ourselves. And if there's certain things you don't like about yourself that's in your power to change, you owe it yourself to actually do that. You owe it yourself to begin to change those things because you don't want to keep going through life and you don't genuinely like yourself. And the way to know if you like yourself is if you met you as another person, would you like you? What are the things you don't like about yourself? And begin to work on it. It's, you can always fix your external, but your internal, sometimes it takes a bit of time. I used to, I used to have really bad trust issues. I didn't trust no one. But what I realised was... The reason why I had trust issues is because I wanted to believe that you would never hurt me. And the way I overcame that is understanding and accepting that you could hurt me. And I accept that. And if you hurt me, you hurt me. But I'm not going to close myself off because I'm scared of what you may do to me. I can't control what others do to me. And I'm not going to hinder an experience that could potentially be one of the best experiences of my life because I'm scared it's going to end up bad. If it ends up bad, it ends up bad. That's a risk I'll take. There comes a time when you have to start deciding that. You need to work on yourself. If you're the type of person that gets angry very quickly and you've got um, a short patience, you need to work on that. Because no guy wants to be with a woman who can't control her emotions and her anger. That's one thing about women we're very expressive and we're very emotional but sometimes we don't have control over our emotions sometimes we say things out of anger we don't have control over our tongue sometimes we say things we don't mean sometimes we're just very problematic and rarely we take accountability for that we just expect the guy to handle it but that's not okay if you know that you struggle with anger you need to begin to work on that because you can't be carrying that into a relationship you know if you know that 
you're very um codependent you get very needy you need to work on why that is i know for myself i was like that and i realized that i had attachment issues and the reason i had that was because when i was younger i felt very alone and i felt as though i didn't have anyone so my whole adult life well the beginning of my adult life i began to search for someone to just have as my own but then i realized was that person is their own individual person and it's okay if they want to have their own time in their own space it doesn't mean that they're rejecting me it just means that they are their own individual person and i had to work on myself i can't go to someone as a and i'm not fully whole i need to work on becoming a whole person that way when i meet a whole person we're two whole people coming together as one i can't come to him half empty and expecting him to fill me up or expecting a friendship to fulfill me you need to begin to find fulfillment in yourself you need to begin to enjoy your own company enjoy yourself you know I wasn't always this confident. I wasn't always this um, free with my personality. I used to feel like maybe I was too much for people. And I've got a very big personality. I feel a lot. I've got very intense emotion. I'm a very intense person. And when I'm all in, I'm all in. And I used to always feel like maybe I was too much for people, but maybe I was too much for the people I was around. And that's okay. I dil diluted myself and I, um, I became what guys wanted me to become in a way. I kind of hid myself and just took on the form that they wanted me to take on because I wanted to be accepted. I'd done that with friends, I'd done that with men. I wanted to be accepted, but it wasn't until I started developing myself and when I started finding God, I started finding myself. When I started finding my purpose and what I wanted to do with my life, I started finding a new confidence. I got fed up of just feeling like I, no one ever accepted me. I got fed up of just feeling like I never fit in my whole life. I didn't feel like I fit in and I tried so hard to fit in and I never fit in. And then I came to realization as Lakeisha, you're not meant to fit in. If you was meant to fit in, you would have fit in. You know, during my school years, I used to feel so, I felt like an outcast because I wasn't it girl. I wasn't a popular girl, but I was the girl that didn't really care about anything. And the guys liked her, but she didn't have no female friends. I was that type of girl. Like I was just on the outskirts of all the female friendship groups and I felt like there was stuff wrong with me. I felt like, why does no one accept me? Why does no one like me? Like, what is it about me that, like, repels people? And it wasn't necessarily the fact that I repelled people, but it was, I was a very different individual and I hadn't found my people yet. And sometimes, because we're not like another person, we often judge ourselves and we're harsh and we feel as though, oh, why are you like this? Or because someone says stuff to us like, oh, your lips are tiny. Like, my lips are small, okay? Like, when I smile and stuff, I barely have any lips. And I've accepted that. I like my lips. Or, yeah, maybe I don't have a big bum. Okay, like, I'm going to work with what I have. And I'm no longer going to hide away because I don't fit the image of someone else. I don't fit the image of what society says is beautiful. I'm going to learn to accept what I have. And I'm going to work with what I have. And the reason being is, the reason why I focus so much on my internal is because I could no longer trust on my looks. I'm not everyone's type. I'm not everyone's friendship type. I'm not everyone's girlfriend type. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. But one thing that I said was, when I show up, it's not going to be my looks that captivate people. It's going to be my personality. It's like, I always said that when people meet me, they're going to meet me. It's not that they're meeting my looks or they're just intrigued in my looks. No, but when they meet my personality, they're just going to instantly favour me. And that's how it's been so far. Like, I've got the type of personality where I can make you very comfortable around me. I can kind of bounce off of your vibe. I can kind of just flow and... I've had to develop that. I've always had that, but I kind of hid it away. I felt shy. I felt insecure because I wasn't like her. But when I started working with what I have, you know, I have a natural charisma. I have, I'm naturally funny. Um, I am naturally witty. I have a lot of banter. You know, I have a dry, sarcastic sense of humour. I've got a lot of things that are likeable. And I guess I didn't realise those things until people started telling me. And I started really diving into myself like, Lakeisha, why have you noticed what's good about you? And one piece of advice I would say is, write a list of the attributes that you like about yourself or things that are enjo that pe people can enjoy like I, like for example i'm funny um i'm very loving um i am very um i don't know goofy um i have the ability to make people feel very comfortable around me i am very accepting um i'm very compassionate and I have these attributes and the re these attributes, I focus on them, I hyper focus on them. I figure out how can I even, how can I make them better? And I focus on showing those attributes first, not the things I don't like. Like, I don't like that sometimes I stutter. That used to make me very insecure. But now if I stutter, okay, I, I stutter. Like, who gonna check me? Who gonna check me? Like, okay, I stutter. Yeah, I fumbled over my words. Now what? Now what? Okay, I used to have a lisp. I don't know if I have it anymore. Maybe I do, but I forgot it. I used to just, if I had a lisp, I had a lisp. Everyone used to tell me in primary school, say sizzling sausages. And it's because I had a gap. 
I don't know where my gap went. My gap closed naturally, but I used to have a gap and I had a lisp. And I used to feel really insecure about that. Um, I just used to, I just had so much things I didn't like about myself. So I just had to focus on what I do like. You know, I used to hate that I have two different ears. My dad's ear, my mum's ear. And then I started realising, no, Lakeisha, you're not abnormal. You've got something that other people don't have, unidentical ears. That's a lovely trait about yourself. When someone asks you what's interesting about yourself, well, I have two left ears. I have two different ears. Like, one's my dad, one's my mum's. If you look at me straight on, you see that my ears don't match. And it's now it's a topic of laughter. Like, I can laugh at myself. And you have to enjoy You have to be able to laugh at yourself. Don't take yourself too serious. You may think that you look plain, you're a plain Jane, or you don't have this, you don't have that. Work with what you've got and amplify it. God made us in his image and his likeliness. We're not all meant to look the same. We all look different and that's fine. But he gave us special personality traits that he wants us to develop, okay? I wasn't always as compassionate as I am. In fact, before I was very cold, barely any emotion and I didn't know how to show my emotion. But now I do and I feel and I show how I feel. It's about time you focus on what you do like about yourself rather than what you don't like about yourself. Stop focusing on how you look and start focusing on your personality traits. What are the traits about yourself that you actually like? that you actually enjoy, okay? Maybe you're very intelligent, work on that. Improve your intelligence, start reading more books, get into forums, discussions, start finding like-minded people, find your tribe. I had to find my tribe. I'm a creative, okay? I am very intelligent, but I'm not gonna try and fit into the box of a mathematician when I know I'm more into literature. You need to know where you stand. Stop trying to fit into a box that is not labeled as yours. You need to find your own tribe. And that way, be around people that are like-minded. You know, be around people that bring out your gifts rather than try to suppress them so find your people find people that are like-minded don't try and be the it girl don't try and be like her don't try and do what they're doing find what you're meant to be doing find your focus and hyper focus on that when you meet someone they should meet your personality not your looks okay initially you see my looks but then as soon as i start talking it should be my personality that captivates you and don't think that you have to be like the, that person no your own personality will captivate people. You just have to accept your personality. I am a very awkward person and for a long time I used to hate that about myself. Why am I so awkward? Why can't I find the right things to say? Why do I stumble over my words? Why did I make that facial expression? Why did I say that? And it's a trait that I've learned to love about myself that, yeah, Lakeisha, I'm awkward. I say awkward things. I make the atmosphere awkward sometimes and it's by accident, but it's just how I am and it makes me more lovable. I, I don't know, it just brings some more character. You know, I'm very... I'm a strong personality and before I used to think, am I too dominant for men? And it wasn't that I'm too dominant, it's just, I'm just very strong. I feel a lot, I just, I'm all in, like, I'm, I get very excited, I get very happy and enthusiastic. Uh and enthusiastic and for some people it may be too much but for other people they may love that I'm an overindulger okay that I just feel and I just do what I feel like you know I don't just hide my personality but I show it I show up as myself so I would always say don't hide away who you are learn begin to love yourself begin to focus on the attributes that you love hyper focus on them stop focusing on what you can't change about yourself okay start loving your flaws Start accepting yourself the same way you'd accept another person. Extend that same mercy to yourself. But thank you for coming to my L talk. This is my version of a TED talk. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you feel like someone needs to watch it and turn on your post notifications so you never miss an upload. But I will see you in my next video.